It's Buck Mato if I just vented. And so now, um, marketing and stuff like that, do you have any plans about, like, besides doing your own marketing, like, to do other people's marketing? No. Why not? Because people don't listen. Really? Mm hmm Unless they pay me. Unless they pay you? Yeah. All right, well, then you know they're invested in their real Yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. I, you know, I gave out a few ideas, yeah. some things like that, and it's just niggas. Yeah, but I, I think they like it. Unless they trying to poker face me, like yeah. I don't like it. But you know, I, I think I, sh you know, I, I try to like this box. I'm selling, you know, I sell it for forty dollars. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So in my head, it's forty dollars an album. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So how could you go wrong with that shit? Mm -hmm. And you know, the the things I suggested for them to make after me doing it and going through the trials and tribulations, mm -hmm. I know how I could have made it cheaper. Mm -hmm. So you know, I'm giving niggas ideas that they could do way cheaper, like. Mm -hmm. Way cheaper, and you know, it's just I learned that um, people don't like the process of doing things. They just like the end result. Yeah, the result. Mm -hmm. So when I tell niggas, yeah, look for this, look for this here, and I'm, I'm giving all the source. Mm -hmm. I don't hide information from black people. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to do something, and, and I know it, take it. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna stop nothing that I'm doing. That's how I see it. Yeah. I want you to progress. It's not gonna stop nothing I'm doing. You're not taking no money out of my pocket. Mm -hmm. You can have it. You can do it. You can do with that information whatever the fuck you want to do. Uh -huh. Here it is. Um, but um, you know, people just they don't like the process uh -huh. of doing shit. You know, I, I've been through so many trials. I've been doing this box for like three years. I it's remember. Like, yeah, you know. I um. Yeah, I was talking to you about it. Yeah. You know, some people didn't like the idea. And I'm just like, to me, I'm like, how? Like, I don't get it. Like, <laughs> the fuck you, like, like, you know, everybody don't like creativity. Oh, like, they can't see it. No, I did. You know I did. That's what, a lot of people just can't see it. Um, I'm working on some shit, my damn self. Um, I'm, I talked to you off camera about it. And uh, <clears throat> a lot of people don't really see it. Or it might be like too much work for people at this point in time, like mm -hmm. for free. I get it. And stuff like that. And that's mm -hmm. like, I get why it would be, but I love the process. I don't love the process, but you have to do it. I, I, certain things like um, like this, what we're doing right here. I love this. Okay. This is like, um, like, um, I was I was tired when you got here, bro. I didn't feel like moving, but now that we're actually like in it, we're mm -hmm. doing this thing. We're we're interviewing now. We're you know what I'm saying? This conversation has begun. I'm up for it. I'm fucking jazzed. I love this part. Yeah. You understand? And this is the process of it. It's the same thing with this new venture I'm working on, like the process and the grind of it. I, I, I don't know. I just, I love those. I love those things. I like the step by step of the shit that I like to do. I think that's why it's been hard for me to drag myself back to work <laughs> since, no, I, it makes since, like, I, since I quit no. because I, you know, there's no process with work. It's you clock in, you do your eight hours. You get your check. There's no end result, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, son, I get what you yeah. mean exactly. Like these hats, like yeah. these are my hats. Mm -hmm. Like I At made Tom this hat. Tom D's, congratulations. This shit. Yeah, like mm -hmm. I thought of this shit. Mm -hmm. Um, and the process wasn't even long. It was about two months. Yeah. You know, um, I was high with my homie. It's me and my homie hat. Shout out to my son Polo. Mm -hmm. Um, we was high. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the fuck made us say. I was making some hats, but we did. We um, thought of a design, and and I'm very progressive. You know, I, you know, I, I was talking to him mm. one day. He was like, "Yo, um, I fuck with you because you do what you say you're gonna do. Mm. Like when you want to do something, you, you do it." Do and then, you know, it. I never realized how many people don't have that trait. Like people, I see all well, I want to do this. I want to do this. Mm -hmm. I want to start a podcast. I want to do this. I want to do that. But people just don't do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I think that's why um, after 10 years, we keep running into each other. Yeah. Because we always doing it. Oh, yeah. So you in fucking... Where the fuck was that? Allah. We just ran into each other. And Allah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Cloud Nine. Yeah. Yeah, Cloud Nine. We but I mean... Each other. Yeah, yeah, facts. But I mean, not even that. But I mean, like... Whether we continue working yeah. together or like I invite you to an event, you invite me to an event. Yeah. Like the reason why we're always like connecting is because we're always like doing. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? We've always we're always creating, and we always want you know like come peep this or come check this out and yeah. shit like that. So yeah, I think. So you see, so I mean, like I think about ten years ago, who was rapping? Mm -hmm. Ten to now, ten yeah. years later to now. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And we're still going and we're still doing. What we what we need to do. So I think this process from like Euros TV to now has shown me like a lot of people 
do like want to start things. They want to start and then they want the end result. You understand? Yeah, what I'm it's saying? like mm. it's like too quick. Like I remember I gave somebody um an idea for a show. Yeah. Um, you know, um, when me and Sparrow, shout out to Sparrow, we do our shows. It's kind of themed in a way. Yeah. So the the idea was um basically the rappers. It was it was like it was like two um female promoters, and I was like, you know, what y'all should do is um make it like a unruly classroom photo. Mm. Like y'all the teachers and like you know they throw yeah. you know the, you know yeah. they maybe one throwing a spitball one mm. flirting with a chick and they liked everything else we did before that but they yeah. just couldn't see that vision mm. so I um they didn't want to use it so yeah. I took it and I don't know if you remember the Marcy University concert yeah you remember the flyer no it was like. The same thing I just told them to do. Yeah. It was the unruly. It was called Marcy University. Yeah. So I made it like a classroom photo. Mm. Um and I even had like yearbooks when you got to the show. Mm. You know, um everybody had their own like thing, like most consistent, mm. best lyrical, whatever it was. Yeah. Um and it was a great show. This was a signature series concert, right? No, it wasn't no signature series at that time. Okay. This was like two thousand Fourteen or some shit like that. Okay, gotcha. it was it was black money. So okay, I, I guess, money. but it wasn't signature series. Wasn't okay, it wasn't. Oh yeah. Okay, got you. Um, it's your boy Buck Made. If I just vented, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Pow.